The Gospel reading is the central section of the Sermon on the Mount. This is not only the central section of the Mount, this is also the most famous and probably the most controversial. It is an original commandment of Jesus, love your enemies. This is originally from Jesus. There is no other passage in the New Testament that contains such a concentrated expression of what we call the Christian ethic. This is the Christian ethic of personal relations. To the ordinary person, the gospel describes what we call essential Christianity in action. What does Jesus really mean when he said, Love your enemies? What is Jesus really saying? What is he asking? What is he demanding from his followers? Is the Lord not asking for the impossible? Especially when he said, Be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Let me first explain what, does, what that statement means. In the Gospel of Matthew, it says, Be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. But if you go to the Gospel of Luke, that is not how Luke says it. Luke says, Be compassionate as your Father is compassionate. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters. When the Lord admonished His listeners to be perfect, just as God the Father is perfect, it is not synonymous with what we call sinlessness. It is not about moral impeccability because everybody commits mistakes. Nobody is perfect and we cannot be perfect like God the Father. Such an ideal is impossible to achieve. Let us try to understand the statement, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect in the Jewish understanding, in the Jewish context. What is the meaning of be perfect? Just as the Father is perfect. The word perfect or the adjective perfect means whole. W-H-O-L-E. It means undivided. It means total. In other words, your love for everybody must be total. Our love for everybody must be Love for all people, sinners and saints alike, giving to all sunrise and raindrops. In other words, in Jewish context, perfect means whole. It means undivided. The disciple must have a complete love for all. Undivided love for all. It must be whole. It must be for all. Not only for some, but for all. In the Gospel of Luke, it is merciful. It is compassionate. But here, in the Gospel of Matthew, it is perfect. Meaning to say, we have to imitate the love of God that loves all people. Sinners and saints alike, giving to all sunrise and raindrops. My dear brothers and sisters, the love of God is all embracing. The love of God is all embracing. God's love reaches out to everybody, to all, without any discrimination. Like the rain and the sun that fall equally on all, the love and compassion 
and mercy of God is extended to everybody. And we are challenged to do the same. So again, from now on, let us not misunderstand that statement. Let us not misinterpret. I've heard many, how can I be perfect? No, 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 no. You are not asked to be perfect in the sense that you will be sinless, that you will be flawless. You will still be sinful. You will still be flow, flow, full of flaws and imperfections. But when the Father says, be perfect as the Father is perfect, it means showing compassion for all, even those who wish us evil, that we are to aim at imitating the love and mercy of the Father. So my dear brothers and sisters, if we are honest, we know we judge others a lot, often with very little evidence and even less compassion. Our media also, our media are full of judgment. Our conversations are full of judgment. Our gossip, we lack compassion for the weaknesses of other people. At the same time, we do very little to help them correct their ways. As a matter of fact, they seldom hear the criticisms we make. It is most often done behind their backs. If they unexpectedly appear, we quickly change the subject. We just take pleasure in the backbiting. We might even be disappointed if other people reform or change their lives. The Lord says, do not condemn, you will not be condemned. Pardon, you will be pardoned. And later on in the Eucharist, we will pray here, forgive us our sins as we forgive the sins of others. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue with our reflection about the commandment of Jesus to love everybody, let our prayer be a prayer that is familiar to many of us, if not all. And I say it thus, Lord, teach me to be generous, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labor and to seek no reward. Save that of knowing that I do your holy will. Be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect in the Gospel of Matthew, but in the Gospel of Luke, be compassionate, just as your Father is compassionate. Amen.